Guernsey. That's my wife Emma Guernsey. We run Capra Organic Goats Cheese. We milk goats on our farm and we make cheese on our farm in East Gippsland um, in Victoria, Australia. On my, my farm, we run Capra Organic Goats Cheese where we milk um, about 50 to 60 dairy goats and often have up to 100 dairy goats in total that we run on our place. We make cheese on the farm, certified organic farmhouse goats cheese. Yeah, there's, there's three of us here full time on the property. Um, I do most of the milking. Um, and the farm work. The farm work. And Emma is our head cheese maker. She did, um, does a lot of the cheese work. And Emma's mother, um, Terry, does a lot of the cheese work too. And admin. Um, the distribution. Did, we yeah. sort of share all between ourselves as well. We started to go organic because um, it's really our philosophy, it's the way that we live, we wouldn't do it any other way. Um, our backgrounds, myself as a naturopath and homeopath, my husband as a horticulturalist working in a, a nursery sort of setting and spraying chemicals and those sort of things, we knew the damage that that could do and we really don't want that to be part of our farm, our land, our family. Um, we see all those things as very detrimental. We didn't know what we were going to do on this land when we moved here, but we knew that it was going to be something that was organic. And being certified organic was always going to be how we were going to do it because we like the consumer to have that guarantee, have that consumer confidence that you know we're doing the right thing. And that's really the main reason for certification. We're certified with OGA, which is the Organic Growers of Australia. Um, it used to be an organic herb growers of Australia group and it's now under the BFA, mm -hmm. Biological Farm. It several hundred dollars a year, sort of a thousand dollars a year um, to be certified um, and it's a three year conversion process. Mm -hmm. um, we've been certified for five or six, probably six years now. The differences between running an organic goat dairy farm and a conventional goat dairy farm um, would be conventional goat dairy farm would probably be using um, chemical fertilizers on their paddocks to grow the grass, so it might be ammonium nitrate or superphosphate. Um, they may be using antibiotics um, on the actual goats, on the goats or on the teeth, herbicides on the land as well. So they're probably using glyphosate or Roundup, those yeah. sort of products. And chemical maybe drenches possible. on the animals themselves, and maybe um, worming drenches for internal parasites. Because we're certified organic, we don't use any of those things. Instead, we use a, a, a whole range of different other methods to ensure that our goats are healthy in the first place. Yeah, so they don't get to the needing antibiotics in the chemical drench stage. We really. Um, keeping on top of their, their mineral status, so it, that is really important for us um, that they've got those minerals there available. We do the soil tests we've done, um, we've spread lime and we've spread dolomite, so addressing the calcium um, shortfall in the soil. We've also spread compost that we do um, make ourselves on farm. We use rotational grazing methods as well on our um, farm, so we're mindful of not overgrazing and not overstocking. Um, we have um, we could have more goats, but we, we choose not to for the health of the animals and as well for the health of the land.
If you wanted to become certified organic and you're running a conventional farm, if there's not it's not as hard as you think, and there's not as much paperwork as you think. Um, a lot of farmers we talk to are really daunted by the paperwork and the cost, and it's two big hurdles for them. But it's not it's not insurmountable. It's uh, in most industries they get that that cost back. You know you have better market access depending on what products you've got. There's a range of different benefits in being certified organic, and not only for the health of the farmers, your family, your land but also um, in terms of where you can sell your product. You've almost got to replace what you're, what you're doing with your chemicals with other practices. Getting your soil right, getting your animal health right, so the mineral status and you know, their general health is good, and the breeding, the bloodlines. We try and um, breed our goats for worm resistance as well as um, general health as well. Yeah. Good feed, good teeth. It's pretty much an organic Solution for every everything. Everything. Yeah, if you look hard enough, and it's it's not that hard. No. My hey. advice would be read, read a lot read. <laughs> and do a lot of research, but get it from the right. You can read all sorts of stuff, but not everything will work in your circumstances. You've got to take what works for everyone else. You've got to take the bits that work for you from everyone else, and just go on with an open mind and have a look and go, hey, that might work if I. Just tweak it this way a little bit, that'll work on my place. Pat Colby is um, He's the goat guru. guru in <laughs> and natural farming. For yeah, natural farming of goats and other animals. Another woman I would say if you're designing animal and livestock facilities or anything is Temple Grandin. Don't be scared to do what you want. Um, wake up, live your dream and Take the goat by the horns, you can do anything.